Today for my base two eyes I will gonna use Too Faced Shadow Insurance. This is a new product to me and I really really want to try how this works. I put a little bit because I find this is very very creamy texture and if I put too much I will not be able to blend it. First color which I'm gonna use is Texture by MAC which is beautiful brownish, very very light brown color and I'm gonna place that directly into the crease this eyeshadow is super super pigmented and I will gonna put just into the crease not go like smoky eye or cat eye just into the crease and a little bit blend. Lovely color. Next color which I'm gonna use, by the way, I'm using E35 brush. Now I'm gonna switch to E25 with cross culture, which is very very beautiful deep brown eyeshadow. I love this eyeshadow, especially for the crease. And I'm gonna put directly into the crease under that texture eyeshadow. Next eyeshadow which I'm gonna use is Chromomil, which is very beautiful natural golden yellowish color. Especially very very good for highlighting. I'm gonna place right here into the corner and into my brow bone. This is a very very natural eyeshadow. Blue Brown Pigment by MAC, which is one of my favorite right now colors with E55 by Sigma. I'm gonna pack it up all over the eyelid. I love this eyeshadow. It's just amazing. Looks really really deep brown but in the same way very bluish. I'm gonna place all over the eyelid and then take the blending brush and kind of blend the edges of it. For more intensive highlighting, I'm gonna use a sugar pill, Taka Tika, which is pure matte eyeshadow, and with my favorite brush for highlighting E60, which is huge brush but applies very, very beautifully the eyeshadows. And I'm gonna put right into my brow bone and right here. I'm gonna put in my corner a little bit more because I want it to be very very highlight here. And just a little bit blend with the blue brown pigment. Again I'm gonna use cross culture but with the small pencil or angle brush depends how you like it. I'm gonna put line under my eyes. This look it's going to be perfect for everybody who have blue eyes because the brown kind of makes the blue eyes stand out. Make it look a line. Here. Next I'm gonna use my new uh, new favorite uh, eyeliner. This is Super Line and Carbon Gloss by L'Oreal. In the color Carbon Black. And I'm gonna line my eyes with this. It's very easy to use. Very beautiful, deep.
I'm gonna make a thin line under my eyelashes because they are it's going to be my pulses. I put my false eyelashes. I decided to go with this very crazy cat eye eyelashes, but definitely you can go with very, very natural lashes with this look. And also I put Jama Pencil in milk in my waterline. This is a diamond eyes. Next, which I'm gonna do, I put my bronzer. Lately I'm using uh, Mineralized Skin Finish uh, Natural in Give Me Sun by MAC. I'm using this for my bronzer which it's perfect like brownish uh, color but I love it because in, on the brown side not orangey reddish tone I put like bronzer the rest of the tangle too much uh, kind of Sorry about the noise. I put everywhere like bronzer. I put a little bit more right here because I want it to be like contouring with the same product. Like this. For my blush today, I will gonna use my New West um, NYX Rouge Cream Blush. This is in natural. I'm gonna put with this brush and kind of press it. Don't blend because it's going to wipe your foundation off. I love these colors. I put just a little bit down if I need it. I put a little bit more. I love these blushes because it gives the most natural look on the face. Oh my god, this is so annoying. like this and for my highlight powder today I decide to go with again my new product Snow, Snow Glob by MAC which is highlighting powder in white package which is awesome and it's beige color definitely it's beige color don't have anything gold or pinkish on it and gives the most natural highlight powder, highlight powder, highlight effect on the face. It's not chunky, it's not big glitters, it's kind of very soft highlight powder. And for my lips, I decided to go with very hot intensive pink matte lips. And for that I'm using Shocking Pink Nexus Matte Lipstick which is very very vibrant, very very intensive, beautiful lipstick. This is my done look. If you like it, keep watching the next tutorials and thumbs up and comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.